are we at the stage where pretty much every kind of business needs to be an AI business? I think so. So, um, you know, I started my first company in the mid 90s with the advent of the browser. And then when I was at Publicis, we worked on search and mobile. Um, there are big waves. To me, this wave of understanding huge scale, reasoning, deductive, inductive, abductive reasoning, learning can change everything. How good in the next five years do you think the network is going to be at knowing how everybody here is actually feeling? So the trick is, how well are we good at humans at recognizing emotion? Or how much do people keep a poker face? We're certainly finding things from the face. We're finding more from tweets. Yeah. We're finding more from profiles. Um, dating apps actually tell you a lot about what a person is by what words they use. Yeah. Um, journalists are easy because they write a lot. Politicians are terrible because people write for them. So if you actually read all their speeches, you don't really know how they feel because they were reading something someone else wrote. So we need people to authentically say what they think, and then we can understand it and actually connect to, their, um, and connect to them in emotional ways. I think, you know, we, we went through a period of search being the primary interface, but you really have to be pretty precise about what you're looking for. In a lot of other places, what a bot can be is more consultative. And I think that helps people solve more complex problems. You, you need to take the friction out. You need to get people to the answer or the right direction immediately. And then the humans solve the unsolved hard problems. I think we're always going to need a human and a machine. So first of all, I, we, don't, we don't think machine translation works for harder problems. So when we teach Watson a language, it knows nine now. We make, it, we make it learn from scratch so that in each language, whether it's French, German, Arabic, it's native. Because there's a lot lost in translation. Languages are, they're just, their syntax is different. The semantics don't work. So it's also important to do it right. You can't take shortcuts. So you have to learn native. And you have to learn oncology native. And you have to learn radiology natives, first of all. Secondly, what's important is for humans to accept the leverage of this, that it can get you to the right bankruptcy law statutes, it can get you to the right proven treatment on cancer, then you spend your human energy solving the problem. Watson's not going to cure cancer. It's going to free up human capacity to actually do the work that's not been done to solve it. So I think, the, I think humans actually have to raise their game, be more intelligent, be more inquisitive, more curious, so that they're, they're accepting leverage for simple tasks and applying our minds to harder ones. Mm -hmm.